Hello, my name is Abhiraj Exambekar and I'm working on this project to control robotic arm with uh, brain waves. For this, I brought some um, equipments from OpenBCI website. It's an open source website uh, supplying equipments to uh, measure EEG, EMG and uh, ECG uh, waves uh, throughout the body. So uh, to measure uh, EEG, we need EEG electrodes. But now uh, uh, from uh, that website, I have brought EMG, uh, sorry, ECG uh, cables, ECG EMG cables. And this uh, there is this other board called Ganglion board. This is a sensing board. It, um, it take, takes the signals and um, basically it uh, senses the signals. That's all it does. Um, this board can also be used for uh, EEG uh, measurements as as per my project requirement but uh, my EEG electrodes are yet to come and I, here I have these ECG EM, EMG me um, measuring cables electrodes so this is my current setup oh uh, yeah and um, uh, uh, other thing they also provide a uh, open source GOI as you can see on the screen uh, this screen um, this uh, this GUI provides us a 50 plot, some time series analysis, and some uh, a, a little different features as well. Yeah, as you can see here, time series, uh, 50 plot, accelerometer. Uh, the feature, um, uh, the, another feature of this board is that it also provides some accelerometer values, and we can have networking like um, whatever trans. Let's say we do a 50 transform, we can send it serially over, over a uh, serial bus. To wherever we require we can use this emg plot okay so i'll go back to time series and i'll set here emg um uh, my uh, i i'm using this electrodes okay so now go, coming to the setup so it's a simple setup i followed as exactly as exactly shown in the tutorial so these are um uh, these are two uh, electrodes connected to positive and negative of uh, the board of the channel one board and there is this another attached to the ground uh, sorry attached to the elbow the electrode attached to the elbow is considered as ground and these two uh, electrodes uh, which are connected to channel one are uh, one is like one is for reference and another is like um, in the same muscle they are connected in a series to uh, measure any voltage difference or anything so now doing the work okay so I will start the data stream you can see here is okay I'll, uh, you can switch other channels off and get this channel only and you can see the FFT plot in here for the channel one and you can even see the AMG so currently I have uh, this uh, first and you can see a pretty stable wave for arm. Um, so I'll try. I'll open it, and there you see a fluctuation in the wave. Now I'll close it again. And there is a fluctuation again. Now I'll open and close very fast for a certain duration. And you can see there is too much noise. Like the waveform is gone. Up and down. Now let's say one, there is some different waveform generation, a little bit different than if, if I just um, move and is only a single finger. And you can even see there is some EMG measurements. So yeah, so this is a, this, uh, this is a muscle sensor basically. So that is the thing now i can work with this to analyze which fingers i have um which fingers I, i'm moving or something like that and using that i can control the hand but this is not the uh, goal of my project my main uh, goal, uh, goal is to uh, recognize brain waves and using that uh, train a neural network in such a way that if uh, the person is thinking uh, in a certain direction uh, in a certain specific way then the arm should uh, at least close and open his fists uh, I can I, 
I, I am waiting for those electrodes to arrive. Once they arrive, I'll progress there. So my current task is to understand the signal and like um, the digital uh, signal which I'm get, getting. So all the analog readings are being done on this sensor board and uh, these values are being passed to the uh, like computer and from that computer I get the uh, digital values using those digital values I, I, um, I need to analyze what type um, uh, what type of the analog, uh, what type of analog values are there and those and using those values I need to uh, conv uh, convert to a neural net um, convert and pass it which will be suitable for my neural network and then train the, train the neural network uh, to do some certain tasks so as i said my uh, next steps are uh, recognizing the um, values which the port passes and then um, pass it to a neural uh, neural network uh, constructing a neural uh, cnn for that purpose as well so once this part is done I sh it should be easy whenever my um, other components arrive which are those EEG electrodes. Once they arrive, I can just uh, replace these electrodes with those EEG, elect uh, EEG electrodes and attach it to my head and check um, and train the neural network um, to predict, uh, like uh, to classify those waves as per uh, those waves as per requirement uh, to open or close the fist. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.